Hi guys, James here at Seek Host. Today we're going to be going through DaVinci Resolve and how you can zoom in and out of clips. So let's get started. I've got a clip here, it's about 20 seconds long and as you can see the clip doesn't do video clip but you can also do this with a picture. And there's going to be two ways that I'm going to show here how to zoom where both are going to be done through the edit section on your DaVinci Resolve. First one's going to be the easiest way which is you're going to highlight the clip or the track that you want to add. Again, if you want to do this in multiple areas, simply split the clip wherever you need it to be split. I'm going to be using the whole clip. With that selected, we're going to come to this little option up here. We're going to click that and we're going to go to dynamic zoom. The green area shows where it's going to start from. So if you want to start from a full screen, we can open this up and then the red one will show where it will end up. For instance, if I drag this out to almost the full screen here and I put the red one all the way right there in the middle, if I play my clip, you're going to see it's going to be a nice little run through from the start frame to the finish frame, which is closer in the middle. You can also choose to move this frame. So if I want to make it larger and I want to make it zoom up there, you're going to see the line that is going to move along. So as it goes from this big picture green one here to the red smaller one, it's also going to move along to suit. So now let's go press play and see what happens. As you can see, it's slowly zooming in, but it's also zooming into that particular corner. Now, if I go to the end of the clip right here, we should be quite zoomed in on the top right. Now let's go for the second method, my most favorite and most used method. First of all, select the clip that you want to use. I'm going to be selecting the whole 20 second clip, but you can also to do this by making smaller clips as well. Go up to the top and make sure that you have your video section selected and we're going to basically start with the base point. So the base point I want it to go from a normal picture and we're going to start off in the same way with the slow zoom from start to finish. So making sure the clip is selected I'm going to put my cursor at the start where I want it to start and I'm going to go up here to the zoom in position. I'm going to set my two anchors so I'm going to click this one and this one meaning that the first frame is set to look like this. Now I can go all the way to the end of this clip now it's going to go to where I've left my cursor. So if I do this right at the end of the clip here and then I change my zoom. So if I zoom all the way in and I can also go left or right a little bit because I've also done the bottom one. As you can see, when it sets the second anchor, it will also go red. Now, if I go back to cut, what it will do in the same way as before, it will now zoom in slowly into one area like we first did. However, you don't need to zoom into just one area. You can also have multiple areas that you zoom into. Using the same clip, I'm just going to go back to the start to restart any of these. Just click this little mark here and you'll reset anything that you've done. So let's say I want to zoom into the bottom part and then move upwards along the screen. I'm going to make sure that my clip is selected and then I'm starting from the start where I want it to start at. I'm going to set my two anchor points up there on the top right and I'm going to select the first area that I want it to zoom into. So from the start point where I first set my anchor, it's going to go to where I set my second anchor here and it's going to perform um, the action that I put here. So if I want it to zoom into here from the start anchor to the finish anchor or the first finish anchor, this is where it's going to zoom into. Now if I progress down the video I want it to by the end of it start zooming up so as I set my second anchor I'm going to go for the third one now I'm going to go right till the end of the clip and I'm going to set that to be zoomed in right at the top so then it will make a gradual move from the bottom to the top so probably about there and then it will stop to set your anchor again you don't have to clip these you simply just move the image once something is moved it will then save another anchor which it will move to the zoom and position clicked you can adjust any of them and it will create another anchor as you can see by these lines here now let's head over to cut and let's just see what we've done now as you can see it's doing the slow zoom right into the bottom of the plant and at one point where we've set our second anchor it will then start to zoom upwards this should happen right about now as you can see it's now starting to zoom nicely upwards. Now you really can go nuts with this. You, you can change it to wherever, as long as you've set your first anchor. So if I set my first anchor again, let's say I'll go to this part of the clip. I want it to be zoomed and to the left. Let's say on this part of the clip, as you can see, this has now reset itself. So it's waiting for another anchor. So I'm gonna then zoom out a little bit and go to the right. Again, a little bit further down the clip, I then want it to zoom in a lot and then go further down. And as you can see, my planned actions are happening in lines here as well. Now again, I wanna set one more last anchor before the end right about here, and I'm going to zoom all the way in right at the top. It doesn't really matter how many you add, the system will then make the zooming for you. So let's just go over to cut again, let's go to the start clip, and as you'll see, this will now follow a weird direction from anywhere that I've asked it to with the anchor links. Just of course make sure that when you're doing it you're mindful of where the screen cuts off. So thanks for watching guys, hope you liked the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next tutorial.